we just give a shout out to Gianni for these movie shots and these. Yeah. They are so nice. Just doing his thing. I mean, he's been killing it all right. day. Well, welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Well, a movie is like when you see the camera, you know, like steady cam, and he's like bringing it in, you see from behind the shot, and then it goes comes into the main camera. That's what a movie. They told me to say it. Yeah. Um, I don't, I know I you mean, know. that's the man's job. Oh, it's a but, it's, but it's amazing. amazing. I'm very much into this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Camera shots and things sorry. of that nature. I'm sorry. Hey, Dr. Dr. Dave. Dr. Dave is here, guys. Yes. We have a guest, huh? Right. Hey, welcome back to Sister Circle Live, okay? Spring has sprung, and with that comes seasonal health challenges. So we have our resident doctor. Doctor, Doctor yes. Dave, you will yes. see him continuously on the show. First of all, because we him. love him, yeah. and secondly, he knows what he's talking about. Yeah, come on. <laughs> all right, so welcome back to the show. Thank you. Thank all righty, so Thank let's you. jump right into it. Uh, yeah. The CDC has just released uh, information, and they're very concerned about the Zika virus yeah. and uh, mosquitoes. So tell us what we need to do to help prevent any yeah. of this happening yeah. to us or our families. Remember all this Zika over the last yes. year or so mm -hmm. when mm -hmm. babies were born with small heads, yes. microcephaly? Mm -hmm. That's a very real concern still today. Remember that most of the Zika exposure was in countries outside of yes, the U.S. Right. Correct. Now what the CDC is saying is that there are three, four times the mosquito coverage that might have Zika right here in different parts of the United States. Mm. Oh, Lord. So now we've got to be very vigilant, particularly childbearing mm. age women and men. Mm. Wow. Okay? Wow. Right? Because it's transmitted sexually. We've got to remember that. So, so we can... So, so wait, 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 wait. wait, 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 wait. Yeah. So the Zika can affect sperm? That's exactly right. Oh, you my. can live in the semen. And so if you've been, um, you know, we used okay. to say, you know, if you've been to a Zika, yeah, you know, okay. sort of endemic area, mm -hmm. that you've got to be careful with mosquito bites and they want six months or so mm -hmm. after you've been there before you really start doing some uh, family planning or I should say unprotected mm -hmm. uh, relations. Um, now mm -hmm. we see it in the United States. Wow. So the key is get the mosquitoes down. How do you do it? Well, Use repellent. Mm -hmm. Use repellent. Now, it's not the most, you know, people kind of, you know, are aversive to that, but here's the deal. The CDC, the EPA have got uh, different repellents that work really well, mm -hmm. not just against mosquitoes, but ticks as well. We need to start using that. So go mm -hmm. to the sites. I put a, a, a tweet out for, for uh, reference. The second thing is around your home, try to get all the mosquito nests down. What is that? Mm. Standing water. Yeah. That's, mm -hmm. where they, that's, that's where they right. build their that's nests. That's right. Where is it? So what get the dog standing water. Standing water. Standing water. The dog bowl, the bird bath, yeah. all these nice things. You what about a pool? No. Um, the pool too, but you know, if you keep it clean. Yes. Um, yeah. And usually, if you've got the the you know chlorinated water. You're okay. Good. Should be good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What about saltwater okay. pools? <laughs> Uh, wait, where were you guys? All water pools. Oh, I know somebody. Water pools. The people that you guys. No, I'm just kidding. No, I know. I mean, there might be. I don't know. I mean, that savor. That's the life. Yeah. It's probably better because salt, you know, is is one of those things that kind of kills you. So yeah. I don't necessarily use repellent, but I well, I do use skin so soft. 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 Good. Yeah. We got the good skin so soft. So if you're avoiding if you're avoiding mosquito bites with skin so soft, yes, it works. But I would go to CDC. EPA okay. to make sure skin so soft is on that list. Okay. Yes. So Let's we're now this, this upon season. the allergy season. Yeah. How do we avoid triggers? Yeah. I mean, allergies can be, um, you know, we, we, we know the simple symptoms of allergies. Sure. Runny nose, eyes, all that mm -hmm. stuff. But there are times where people can't sleep this time of year. Mm -hmm. They don't know why. Wow. They can't breathe, right? Mm -hmm. Their voices are changing. That's uh, all probably related to seasonal allergies. That's Hello, allergies somebody. Like that. And you you can't have your voice like that, right? I, what, she's been going Dave, through it now. Doctor, I, I talked to Dr. Dave one time. He, last time he was here, I asked him, what could I do? The allergies have been killing me. He told me to get Mucinex D. Mm -hmm. I took that this morning. I, they're and cool. And I've been great. using, like, nasal spray. But it is taking yeah. me out. I've never had allergies when I lived in Chicago. I got here, yeah. oh my God, and I can't breathe, I can't sleep, yeah. mm -hmm. and I'm and very tired, voice. and it's messing with we my can't voice. Have that. Somebody so somebody here's the deal. help! So, yeah. so for allergies, so when, when you've got sort of cold and congestion, you know, that uh, mucinex is good. For allergies, though, you need antihistamine. That's mm -hmm. what okay. this is about, right? Here's the deal with things that people don't know about. You go find an antihistamine, but things like smoking and drinking. Stop smoking and drinking. Now, it makes sense. Don't smoke, it affects your asthma, but it right. can affect your your your, your allergies, mm -hmm. even hookah. Mm. You know, hookah's very popular, but it's the drinking. <laughs> it's the drinking uh -oh, that keeps it going away. Wait a minute, yeah. let's talk about this drinking thing. I'm going to lose a lot of fans out there on this one, but here's the deal. Some alcoholic beverages actually have histamine in it. Oh, wow. So there are people who drink, they're having a good time this spring, this summer, they think and they, they don't know why out. they get all snotty and, and, yeah. and watery and all that. Do you know it. what alcohol beverages those yes. are? Yes. Which one we need to stay away from? Actually, some people actually have a reaction to 
to all of them. Where right? you can oh, have wow. beer, it could be spirits, it could be wine. <laughs> One size. Sean's, Sean's fading the, away now. Here, but here, here, here's the breaking down. Breaking down. All. Okay. One size didn't fit all. If you're not having that reaction to your wine, I'm not. I'm not gonna take your wine. Okay, thank you. Okay. Well, well, but like, people who like, are. That might be wild, Jam, don't you? Oh, a lot of us, especially as African Americans, we, we feel that we don't need to use sunscreen. We have a lot of melanin, so we're like, oh, right. we got built-in yeah. sunscreen. Right. Yeah. Could you correct that myth for the people, yeah. and then yeah. would you also let us know? What uh, sunscreen or what should be the SPF? Yeah, so this is a, this is a, is a big myth in, in people of, of darker complexions mm -hmm. all over, not just African Americans, blacks, but anybody with darker complexion, you kind of feel like just because you do have some uh, protection with melanin that you don't have to worry about cancer right, at all. Right. And there are some cancers, melanomas, that are quite deadly mm. that affect blacks and darker skinned you know, people more wow. than anybody oh, wow. else. Yeah. So we've got to be very smart about this. SPF 30 or greater um, mm -hmm. is what we are recommending to people. So if mm. you're going to go out and, and have fun this spring, which I recommend, mm -hmm. let's go ahead and use some, some yeah. sunscreen. And we need to go, yes or no question, do we need to do that for our children in everyday life? Too? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Yep. Protect right. our kids so, too. So why is they go to school? Because yes. I have some for, okay, the sunscreen. What about even in the wintertime? Um, so less so in the wintertime because we're usually covered in right, the wintertime. Right, got it. But uh, if you're going to be, you know, at a place, you're going on an Alaska trip or something mm -hmm. like that, I would cover your face. You know, All right, yeah, sounds yeah, good. Absolutely. Man, Dr. Dave, he's always full of information. Yes. Thank you so much mm -hmm. for being I here. Love you.